we can see that for many of you, 2020 is a very potent year to make changes that you have been longing to make for a long time. That is a general energy frequency that is very present in that particular year. Also, we see it is an excellent year for debunking and bringing out information that has been suppressed long before or for coming to terms with a person that you haven't spoken to in a long time, for instance, that has always been nagging in your mind. So it is a beautiful year for making up a balance, you could say. 2020 in English, you also understand what it means as a pun, you could say, in this case, good example. You understand where that term is being used more often? 2020? 2020? No. By the people that measure the, you could say, health of your eyes, the eye doctors. When your eye sees sharp and has no, you could say, difficulty seeing far or close, your eye strength is called 2020. It's a medical term. Okay. So this year, you could say, of 2020 is about seeing sharp and making up a perfect balance of what is seemingly far away and closer to you. How close do you want things to get? How far away do you want things to drift? What about relationships in 2020? Same thing. Same thing we just said can be applied to any type of subject in your life, don't you think? Yes. I do think so, so the same thing for a relationship. How close can you allow someone to get? And how far away do you want some people to stay <laughs> from you? Well, in my experience, the last half year, it, it goes very fast. In this regard, it's People show up very fast. Okay. And there's a connection very fast. Yes. And some people really drift away and I never see them again. How does that feel? Very, very, very well. Okay. I like it, yeah. So you're not <laughs> clinging, you're allowing this flow to unfold that way for you? No. You're saying no? I'm not clinging. You're not clinging? Okay. You're allowing this flow to I'm unfold allowing, for yeah. you? Not yes. Clinging, I'm allowing, yeah. Okay, thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thank you for going with the flow. And you may have noticed there is less repetition of particular subjects and lessons. Yes. Good job. That's what you bring in when you allow things to evolve in that particular way. When you allow yourself to align with the synchronistic organization of the universe, your reflection of higher self to your persona self, really, to show you what you actually already know, but have temporarily decided to forget. So you begin to recognize yourself in, you could say, circumstances, incidents, other people. And you begin to see, oh, this is an aspect of me that I wish to underline. I'm going to date it. <laughs> and this is an aspect of me that I'm not really too curious about to keep it around or hanging around in my life any longer. I'm going to allow it to flow away without judgment, positively, with gratitude, because that will actually help it on its way so much more effortless. So the way you're describing this, you're taking the gifts, you're unwrapping them and without negative judgment, seeing what works for you no longer works and you continue down that road. Yes, does that help? Very much. Okay. Thank you so much. Well, thank you so much.